On this episode of Sofa Stories. Kiki, do you love me? Let me tell you about how I was selling dope. There was a human shit. Kiki's on the floor. This is the cool thing about stray dogs. The police turned up. LeBron James. It's absolutely mental. There's people in prison for things that I'm about to say. Fuck what would Jesus do? That's some old shit. You have to get with the new stuff. What a fucking idea this is! <laughs> Right, if some of you aren't aware, Sofa Stories is where we pick up a free sofa from Gumtree and plonk it in the middle of a busy city and run an off-the-cuff talk show where anything goes. Got the sofa, and down we go. If you haven't seen episode one, then what are you doing here, you fool? Click the link in the description, then come back. Anyway, our first destination was beautiful Bristol, and it's safe to say things got a bit mad. But lucky for you, it's not over. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sofa Stories Bristol Edition, Episode 2, exclusively on... The Second Show! What's uh, some of the maddest things you've seen? Oh, like, really? Like, that's like a great story at the cathedral. <laughs> I want to hear it. So I'm in the cathedral, and um, I'm watching this guy. He's just not like on a sketch or anything like that. And he's just standing there, like, directing some music. <laughs> but he has no headphones on or anything. <laughs> And he's just like really into it. And I sat down, just start watching him. I'm like, this guy's great. And then he turned around, he saw me, and he sat down. And at first I was like, okay, let's just see how this goes. Yeah. yeah like, he, he was like, yeah, you know, when you don't sleep for two or three days, you really start to see some stuff. And I said, yeah, man, I know. And he goes, you do? And I said, yeah, but just remember, you can turn it off. You're like a shaman, you know? Yeah, man. You just have to, just remember, you have the ability to turn it off. Uh-huh, I love that. Mace stinks, doesn't it? Can I get it? Mmm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Tell me about your experience this summer. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? Are you right? LeBron James. <laughs> Let it go. Yes, yeah, turned on. Is it getting on TV? Yeah, on TV. My name's Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in the centre of Bristol, 21st of July, interviewing Jazz. Jess, what are you doing today, Jess? I'm gonna cut a long story very short. Maybe yeah, you should tell me yours, and then I'll tell you mine. <laughs> Or you could just do that. My auntie is in politics. She's actually a relative of Theresa May. That is a present. Probably some Novichok in this. Yeah. And if you. All right, my auntie. Yeah. So. She's all right, she's a politician, that's nice. Gone past the time, really, so, yeah. What, what, do, what do you think of my aunt? Shh. Sorry. Shh. There's people in prison for things that I'm about to say. <laughs> so, so I'm not gonna say it. What's the maddest Bristol story you have? I saw someone giving someone a blowjob in Castle Park and I recorded it on my phone. Do you not know who I am? Did you go for a little park? Nope. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, is it because I didn't know who you are? Yep. Uh, <laughs> nah, jokes. Right now, get the fuck off the sofa. Do you think, like, I've got a question for you, yeah? Yeah, man. Do you think that, as a world, we should all be sort of coming together and working for free? So what's that? We're talking, like, universal basic income? No income. No income. So that kind of communist style. Yeah. yeah. For the sake of someone wanting to buy a dress or having some food, someone's got to stand in the shop all day. Yeah, yeah. I know and it's kind of pointless yeah. to think about it. I'm in the 1%. Money just, I don't know, cause, cause a lot of divide, I reckon. I think humans at this stage, like this whole thing is a bit of an experiment, is it? Capitalism, no one really knows the best case scenario. And that's, I think, what stops a bit of progression or traction in terms of an alternative to money. Like, where would you go then with no money? No one really knows. There's no real clear example, is there? How long have you guys known each other? Like a hundred years. A hundred years? Hundreds. Like literally hundreds of years. O- older than dirt. How old are you both? Older than the crust. We're out there in the primordial soup together, just like chilling, backstroke in the soup. 
What's, what's primordial soup? You know the primordial soup from before? It was all like matter and like tectonic plates and like skyscrapers and shit when it was just soup. So, to learn, so when do you think we will return back to primordial soup? You'd have to, ask a, you'd, you'd have to ask a physicist about that, Zach. You're not a physicist? I'm not a physicist. What are you? I'm just a regular girl. A regular girl in a regular world? <laughs> Not such a regular world, actually. I'm a square peg in a round hole, you know? <laughs> I'm a round hole in a square peg. <laughs> Can I sing you a little song, Zach? Please do. Host and pills, please hold, hold me close. close. Yeah, the mm, can I crave the most. <laughs> you keep me warm in the winter, cool in the summer, mild in the autumn, and mild in the spring. Host and pills, please hold, hold me close. close. Miss me with that can of Stella. I take the one that's green and yellow. Host and pills, please hold me close. Can we get a, a low, low version? Yeah. Host and pills, are please hold me close. <laughs> ba da ba 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 da ba da ba ba la la la. Okay, yeah, yeah. Host and pills, bro. Yeah, we be smoking on that green smoke. No, we don't. Yeah, you're drinking Stella. Why do you front? Uh, can't comprehend this, uh, can't understand this, why? Because we the next gen kids, huh? Why? Yeah, you be huffing Jenkins. Jenkins, you're from the internet. I'm not talking to you, I'm not showing disrespect. Uh, I'm just representing my crew, my gang, my crew, my gang. Let me tell you about how I was selling dope. <laughs> Come on. Sailing through the Black Sea on the boat. <laughs> Let me tell you about how I was selling dope Sailing through the black sea on the boat We ain't even gotta sacrifice a goat We just get into a taxi and we go And sometimes loom Sometimes when I got a bottle full of sunshine Sometimes gin in the summertime Where do I begin? I'm true religion Buddha man Maybe you can be my friend Gangster I'm kind of reluctantly gangster I'm, I'm always a bit reluctant about being gangster you know, I'm, I'm kind of on, on, on the fence. Hey, you're on the sofa. I'm on the sofa, actually. That's, that's real nice, yeah. To think of it really carefully, the maddest thing that I've been involved in in Bristol was when there's a fat free party at one of the um, warehouses. The police turned up and there's hundreds of them in front of us with their shield. We all just charged through them. And then the next thing you know, the guys that are raving upstairs are jumping out the windows throwing fun things on fire at them. It was absolutely mental. I've seen some crazy stuff, but straight up, the, the weirdest, funniest thing I've seen was actually this guy in the smoking area by himself, sort of crouched down. Then it just transpired, basically, that he'd just been, like, shitting on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and he just went, and then, pee-pees on the floor. This is the cool thing about stray dogs, yeah? yeah? Like, you go to a bunch of stray dogs, yeah? And, like, you you pet them, maybe give them a bit of, like, meat, yeah? yeah? A bit of meat, a bit of raw meat, a bit but, of curry in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, because, like, that's how we drink in Bulgaria. We drink wheat, like, sausages, drink moonshine. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, traditional. So, you know, it's normal for you to carry some sausage in your pocket or something. Like, if you're, like, an old school sort of punk you know, cool guy. No, I was joking. I, I didn't realize that was actually a thing. It's, it's a legit thing, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Jamie, get out the middle. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> right. I'm just getting my bearing. He's <laughs> doing <laughs> <laughs> And like, uh, this is a place to like show whatever you want to do. If you've got an idea, bring it to Bristol and you can do it. Like, if you've got the oh determination, then you can actually do anything. Can you? What ideas have you brought to Bristol that, that you feel have kind of come to life? Well, like, I want to start working at festivals and I want a job in a pharmacy and I got it. Right. There's like uh, people smoking crack behind my house and I don't have a problem with people smoking crack behind my house. That means they'll never rob, you know, it's their safe spot for smoking crack. They're not gonna shit where they're eating, you know what I mean? It's peak out there. My landlord messages me yeah. and he's like, look, can you at least take a picture of one of their number plates? I'm like, what kind of world does this person live in, yeah? Where, where like, people come with cars, yeah, drive to behind my house, get out of the cars, take the crack, 
smoke it behind my house because they like the aesthetics back in their cars and you know drive away what is your name my name is holly or you can call me sweet mary jane sweet mary jane a couple of names yeah sweet mary jane just is, call me that why why is why is the nickname sweet mary jane i like to smoke ganja oh what a surprise oh, yeah <laughs> have you got a weed tattoo i've got one or two or the virgin mary smoking a spliff with a skateboard what, so what, what have you been doing today um, well, first I was stalking a boy that is supposed to be in love with me, but he just ignores me. I went to work, there wasn't a human shit. Five minutes later, I came outside, there was a human shit. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. If you've got any advice for the younger generations aspiring to be what they want to be, comfortable in their own skin, what would you say? You know, it's complicated because, you know, what if you follow your dreams and, you know, you're, you're shit at or something. You play your guitar, yeah, and your friends are like, oh, you're so good. Okay, that's your Krusty Degenerate mates. They're like, you don't be satisfied with the, the Krusty Degenerates. Be a bit better than you were before. Imagine you're a fucking hyper smart computer. Fuck what, what would Jesus do? That's some old shit. You have to get with the new stuff. You know, what would the hyper intelligent entity that's communicating telepathically with me, uh, regardless of whether it's real or not, advise me to do. I'm actively accepting the responsibility. I'm submerging myself in a worldview where aliens are telepathically communicating beneficial information to me. And then you have the responsibility to interpret the stuff that's happening to you as beneficial information. And you end up becoming more smart, more sick, you know, more fast. And in the end, you can be like Young Thug, who when he pops Suzanne, he moves faster, he moves so fast, he moves faster than Sonic Man. You lost me at Krusty Degenerate. This isn't information meant for everyone. Adios amigos, adios! So as we packed up after a long day of talking to some of the most interesting people I've ever met, we left Bristol knowing that Sofa Stories is here to stay. Anything that allows you to connect with real people in such a fun, low-pressured way has to be done again. This idea costs us five quid for the lamp, but the stories will last forever. Put that cone away! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you